there's a lot to like here. Don't be fooled by its small size, the little router can handle any normal residential applications and plenty of small businesses. While this is only a wired router, it pairs perfectly with most PO Wi-Fi access points. It is also way better at routing than your rental router or your big box buy. Here's the really good news for those who fear setting up a MicroTIC. MicroTIC has made a standard configuration, WAN port 1, other ports bridged, a single click one to log into it the first time either using their WIN. I assume it's the same for the alternative web page GUI, but I haven't tried it. The only thing this default configuration does not do is enable PO output on port 5, which is easy to do from the interface tab. I really like the PO output on port 5 either by passing it through with or using the supplied power supply, for passive PO. If you need AF slash at output you need a 48V power supply or a PO injector for input. Another plus is the USB port. The fiber port is a nice plus too. This hardware is very similar to a Ubiquiti Edge router ERX, same CPU and memory. While the ERX is better looking with its metal case, the hex is easier to set up and configure. Unlike the hex, the standard power supply will power the PO output on port 4. Nice little router and quick setup for basic features. You can use a fiber SFP for internet only service if your ISP doesn't offer TV and phone over the same fiber, if you have a non then you can't plug the fiber directly into the router. Capable of full gigabit up and down even though my gig ISP service only gives me 700 to 850 up and down. Has been stable for the last few months since I got it. Awesome switch, and the best to learn MicroTik software. I purchased this after upgrading my 75 megabits per second Comcast service to 1 gigabit per second. My Sonic Wall NSA220 could not handle the 1 gigabit per second throughput. Was getting around 250 megabits per second max with the Sonic Wall. Click link in description for more reviews.